All right, so at this point, your Pacific plate should be yellow. Sorry for the technical difficulties in the previous video. It appears that if I color too fast, my camera stops working. All right, so anyway, your Pacific plate is yellow. Now, while we're coloring in plates that are yellow, another one that we're also going to do with yellow is the Arabian plate. So you'll have to turn. So Arabia, Saudi Arabia, is attached to, on this thing, is attached to Africa. So it is indeed its own separate plate, the entire kind of subcontinent of Saudi Arabia. However, for this, we're going to keep that all as one piece. So when you cut it out, you will indeed be cutting it out connected to Africa. All right, so while we're on Africa, let's go ahead and color in the African plate orange. So let's do that there. So let's color in Africa orange. I'll try not to color too fast so the camera doesn't freak out. And yes, as you can see, it's got mostly continental. However, this is true that these the part of African the African plate is also the southern part of the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we're coloring in the African plate orange, not too quickly. There's the orange African plate. Nice. All right. Next, let us color in. What color should we use next? Hmm, let's do the Australian plate. Okay, so Australian plate, we're also going to color in orange, but actually before we color that in, we're going to draw a separate line because India, to some extent, is its own separate kind of subcontinent. So we're going to color in India red, just the kind of the end of it. So we'll just kind of leave a line there. So this one big piece in the middle with India and Australia, color in kind of the nose of it red and the rest of it will color in orange. Here we go. Australia, there's Papua New Guinea. And this actually goes right through New Zealand down here. We can't see that. I didn't draw on this map. But there we go. Now we've got these two that are orange. This one has got that little bit of red on it for India. Nice. All right. Continuing our coloring. Let's do the Eurasian plate. So the Eurasian plate, we got Eurasia here. I'll turn it around so it's facing you. There we go. So the Eurasian plate. So this is indeed a massive plate. It's got all of Europe and Asia very much a lot of continental and some of the Arctic Ocean. And right off the coast of it is the Philippine plate. So the Philippine plate, we are going to color in red. So just that one little area. And we'll keep that for this project attached. But it is a separate plate. But the rest of Eurasia, let's color that all in green. So green, 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 green. Lots of green. You get to practice your coloring. Good coloring. So all this continental and oceanic crust, mostly continental. And actually some of the oldest crust on Earth is in the middle of the Eurasian plate and the middle of Canada as well in the North American plate. That's some of the oldest crust on Earth. It's been there on the surface of Earth for a very, very long time. There we go, because it's pretty far away from the boundaries. There we go. Eurasian plate, green. That Philippine plate is red on the edge. And let's keep rotating. North American plate. We are going to color that in brown. Brown, 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 brown. Oh, oh, and while we're coloring that in brown, quick pause. Caribbean plate, actually. So that is the Caribbean Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, that area. That's a little tiny orange plate there. So give us a little tiny orange foot. We'll keep those attached for now. The Caribbean plate, that's when there was a big earthquake in Haiti. It has to do with that. Puerto Rico, all there's tectonic activity down that area. So the rest of North America, however, is indeed brown. And yes, places like the, there's not very often very many earthquakes on the East Coast of the United States. It happens occasionally, and when it does, it makes the news. It's not very common because they're very far away from the any either of the plate boundaries, so it's not likely there's going to be an earthquake there. We, however, are right on the edge, so we are definitely prone for earthquakes and mountains and volcanoes in this kind of region. There we go. Okay, so there, North American plate. All right, who's next? Ah, uh, let's do South America. All right. So South America is indeed going to be purple. So please color South America purple. And look at that. It's right there on the edge is where that plate boundary is. So yes, lots of earthquakes, volcanoes, very high mountains with the Andes there. All right. South America is purple. Who's left? Okay. So we've got the Nazca and Cocoa plates. So these two, where are those? I have no idea. Also, there's no land masses on it. So these are purely oceanic. They're all ocean. We're going to color them all blue. Nazca and Cocos, they are technically plates. They're just, no one lives on there. And our final plate, we have one last plate we have not yet colored in. 
And that is indeed the Antarctic plate, that whole long one. So actually, in reality, it is not long. We're coloring it in blue. It is not long. It is actually round. However, because this is a projection, it's a kind of Mercator projection of the Earth, in this case, it is a long piece. But in reality, it's technically round. Because the Earth is round, we are a sphere or an oblate spheroid. All right, there we go. Very nice. OK. So now that these have all been colored in, I hope that your colors match mine. They look the same. Your next task is to cut each of these out. They should be cut out in, when the ones that have the two colors keep them together. So this one, you'll keep the Philippine attached to your Asian. It's OK if you cut off the names, but just cut around the outside of each of them. Your next task, task then is to pieces of the Earth, puzzle it together. How does the Earth go together? Once you have it together, you may glue it down on a new piece of paper and take a picture of it and so that you can show that you have reassembled the tectonic plates of the Earth. Good luck!